What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're gonna be talking about Sensionics, ticker symbol S-E-N-S, -E and how I've seen a lot of comments on some of my previous Sensionics videos uh, that they're not really gonna be able to find success in the continuous glucose monitoring market until their products are covered by insurance. Now, I actually have evidence uh, that suggests the contrary, that there are two ways that Sensionics products, the continuous glucose monitoring systems named the Eversense, uh, are actually covered by insurance by a couple of companies and we're going to go over the details of that in this video now we're also going to go over the short interest situation on sensionics the potential for some form of squeeze and we do have a reddit post that i do want to go over uh, this individual makes some pretty bold claims and we're going to go over exactly what is right about these claims and what i see as being incorrect or, or making some interpretations that are going to lead to being overly bullish and kind of being blinded by one's own bias so we're going to go over all of that in this video. So make sure you guys stick around to the end. And if you guys would like to earn those two free stocks with Weeble valued up to $1,850, make sure you check out that link down below in my description. You get two free stocks when you sign up and deposit over $100. And if you guys enjoy the information and analysis that I provide for you in these videos, make sure you go down and hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video so you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks, learn about a couple of new ones and see exactly which options I am trading and which strategies I am using to trade them. So when we're looking at the chart of Sensionics, this stock has had an absolutely really hard time over the past two months. So uh, there's not really much we can do. Nothing fundamentally has changed about the company. There hasn't been bad news that has come out about Sensionics. When we see more than a 50% decline in a company's share price, we typically expect to see terrible news coming out, and that's just not what we've seen. Uh, so, so really what I'm expecting uh, is a run-up potentially into the FDA approval, which, as I've said before, is going to be occurring in Q3 or Q4 of 2021, and within 30 days of, of actually getting this approval, Ascensia, which is Sensionics distribution partner, will be able to start their, their commercialization and distribution process of the 180-day Eversense in the United States. When that happens, I think we could see some more bullishness out of Sensionics, and then once we see earnings and sales numbers, I think we could get back on track and start our bullish momentum. But the overall market conditions right now are not really allowing companies like Sensionics to find success. So let's get into this insurance coverage situation. There's actually two ways uh, that these products are being covered by insurance. So when we come over here, this was taken back from February 18th of 2020. So this has been a while. Um, so Sensionics Sensi announces a positive coverage decision for Eversense continuous glucose monitors from Cigna. So Cigna coverage decision adds more than 17 million covered lives for Eversense CGM. So this is for the 90-day sensor. Um, so Sensionics, a medical technology company focused on the development in commercialization of the first and only long-term implantable continuous glucose monitoring system for people with diabetes announced that Cigna is now providing coverage for the Eversense CGM system effective February 15th, 2020. This recent coverage decision adds to the growing number of payers who are writing Eversense into their continuous glucose monitoring coverage policies, as well as paying for the healthcare provider's first time and in-office sensor placement. Cigna Corporation is a global health service company dedicated to improving the health and well-being and and peace of mind of those who they serve. Cigna has more than 17 million medical customers and offers a Medicare Advantage plan in 17 states. And, and this is going to be very good news going forward. I'm not sure why uh, people didn't really know about this before, but... Um, Cigna provides itself on providing choice and access to quality care through connected, personalized solutions that allow their members to harness actionable insights to drive better healthcare results. Now, Cigna members will have the choice to use the only long-term implantable continuous glucose monitoring system available to help them better manage their diabetes, said Tim Goodnow, PhD, president and CEO of Sensionics. Eversense provides actionable glucose data for users, not only where they are right now, but the direction they are headed with, with superior accuracy, longest sensor life, on-body vibratory alerts, and remote monitoring capabilities. Users uh, can proactively manage their glucose levels by treating their diabetes before they get to dangerously high or low levels. So we know all of this, but it's very good news, and I want to bring this up again, that Cigna is actually offering insurance coverage for this product.
So this is just the first way that Sensionics ever sent, uh, uh, sensors are being covered by insurance. And we actually have a second one, and this comes directly from Sensionics' most recent annual report. In November 2019, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services or CMS, finalized a national payment rate for Eversense that was recently published in the calendar year 2020 Physician Fee Schedule Final Rule. The Eversense Continuous Glucose Monitoring System became the first CGM technology to be reimbursed through the Part B Medical Services Benefit for Medicare beneficiaries and expands access to our product. In December 2020, the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services released its calendar year 2021 Medical Physician Fee Schedule that established Establishes the global payment for the device uh, cost and procedure fees for healthcare providers across the United States. This includes the establishment of national payment amounts for the three CPT category three codes describing the insertion removal uh and removal and insertion uh, of implantable interstitial glucose sensors, which describes our Eversense CGM systems as a medical benefit rather than a part of the durable medical equipment channel that includes other CGM. So let's take a look at exactly what this is and what Part B actually covers. So Part B covers two types of devices, medically necessary devices and preventive services. So the, the CGMs look like they're going to cover uh, the, these medically necessary uh, services. And Part B covers things like clinical research, ambulance services, durable medical equipment, mental health, inpatient, outpatient, partial hospitalization, limited outpatient prescription drugs. In Medicare, if you guys didn't know, as we can see here, generally Medicare is available for people age 65 or older, younger people with disabilities, and people with end-stage renal disease, permanent kidney failure requiring dialysis or transplant. So typically... This is for older individuals, but it is still a step in the right direction for more widespread coverage of the Eversense in the United States. So let's get into this short interest situation with Sensionics, a possible squeeze, and what I think the most likely outcome in the price action is going to be for Sensionics over the next couple of months. Now, when we come over to Market Watch, we can see that they have the percent of float shorted at 31.39%. And when we come over to Market B, they have the short interest right here at 18.23%. Now, there's a variety of reasons why these numbers are vastly different. Well, the most likely reason is that they aren't on the same uh, date. So we can see the the last record date for Market Beat is going to be March 31st, 2021. And on Market Watch, it doesn't really say what date they are using. So that is one of the reasons why we could be seeing a discrepancy in these numbers. And the second is that these different uh, platforms are not always compiling the data from the same sources. So they aren't looking and, and scraping and looking at all of the data from the same spot. And we've seen a, a lot of times that these institutions do not have to report the true short positions that they have on these different companies. We saw what happened with Credit Suisse and a couple of these other companies in Turkey where they were fined for uh, predatory short selling and naked shorting. But these fines were not even over $1 million. So it is in these institutions' best interest in order to come out and blatantly lie to the regulatory institutions and say that they have a lower short interest position than they actually do. Now, when we come over to the OTC transparency data, this is essentially tracking all of the trades that are happening on the over-the-counter markets. Now, we can see that Citadel is typically always at the top of these. And when looking through a lot of the different companies, it's most likely hap uh, what's, what's most likely occurring is that Citadel is the clearinghouse and market maker for a lot of these different brokerages. And they are filling the orders that come from the Robin Hoods and Weebles uh, and actually executing these trades. Now, it is also possible that they have short positions. All this really tells us is the total amount of shares traded. So this is buys and sells. And it really just shows me that there is a lot of action going on behind the scenes that us as retail investors are not seeing on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's possible that there is some trickery going on and some manipulation going on behind the scenes. And I really do think that has been happening with Sensionics. Now, I don't want to make this video last forever, but I know a lot of you guys who have been following Sensionics probably have seen this post on Reddit uh, where this individual is, is suggesting that a gamma squeeze could happen 
uh, for Sensionics. We're going to go over exactly what a gamma squeeze is and what needs to happen in order for a gamma squeeze to occur. But there are a couple of things that I want to point out to you guys. So they bring up these failed to deliver numbers. Uh, and I think that they are misrepresenting them. So they say here that notice that on both March 15th and March 30th, more than 450 shares failed to deliver at a time when the share price was hovering at 315 and 264 respectively. But when we take a look at what the fails to deliver actually represent on the SEC, SEC's website, the values of total fails to deliver uh, shares represent the aggregate net balance of shares that failed to be delivered as of a particular settlement date. Now, when we come back over here, this just essentially means this is a running total. So this is not per day. Um, and we can see when we actually pull up here that as of uh, March 31st, there have been 482,978 shares that have failed to be delivered. Essentially, what this means is that when you enter a short position, a fail to deliver occurs when you are unwilling or unable to, to actually buy back these shares and carry out your obligation on uh, being a short seller. So uh, this data is kind of a little bit uh, misrepresented, and, and they're also going over a gamma squeeze. So essentially what they are saying in this Reddit post is that when we come over here, um, that Sensionics would have to get to $5 by July in order for a gamma squeeze to happen, in order for all of these contracts to expire in the money, and the institutions that sold these contracts would have to do something called delta hedging, which means that they would have to go out on the open market and buy uh, the, the amount of shares that they would need to cover all of these contracts in order to be not as exposed. But this, in my opinion, is very unlikely. Sensionics would have to rally so much by July. This is more than a 100% increase in share price. So I just want to point that out to you guys that if you read that article and you were thinking, well, Sensionics is going to squeeze right now. It's going to gamma squeeze. We're going to see some more price action. That's not really the case. It is possible that we see some sort of squeeze uh, with Sensionics because it, it has been heavily manipulated. Uh, the shorts are in full force on this stock, but I really think that the fundamentals of Sensionics are going to carry it forward, and I think we should pay less attention to the short-term rallies that could occur from a short squeeze or a gamma squeeze and focus more on what is happening fundamentally with the company. So that is going to conclude this update on Sensionics. If you guys were able to learn something new or enjoyed the analysis that I provided for you in this video, make sure you go down and hit that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video so you get to stay up to date on all of your favorite stocks, learn about a couple of new ones, and see exactly which options I am trading and which strategies I am using to trade them. So I hope you guys are having a great weekend and are excited for the trading week ahead, and I'll see you guys in the next video.